What's going on guys, James Crowley here and welcome back to a new video. So guys, I hope you're excited for a brand new video. So I'm going to take you through my full reverse dieting phase. Okay, so it's Sunday the 6th of June and um, today's going to be a good day. So guys, I hope you're excited. So yeah, I just woke up right now and I'm going to take a quick weigh in now. So 81.3 kg, which I'm very happy about because I've, I've been taking my weight now every two or three days and um, just keep track of how my weight is fluctuating. Um, and then from there, then I make changes into my food if I need to. And because I don't want to be gaining weight too quickly on this gaining phase, I want to keep my body in as, as a responsive state as possible. So when you're very lean, your body's in like a very responsive state. So it makes practice nutrients a lot better. Um, so again, making building muscle a lot faster than if I was to go on a huge bulk. Um, so yeah, so I'm keeping track of my weight, trying to keep it as minimal as possible. Because the two weeks, three weeks after photo shoot, I kind of gained weight very quickly. Um, so again, the last three or four days, four or five days possibly actually, I've been cutting down on my food. Um, a little bit just to try and bring the weight back down because um at the photo shoot i was 79 kg if you've seen my recent videos i was rough i was hovering around the 79 80 kg mark and right now being 81.3 kg is actually ideal Yes, I know what you're thinking, you're like, why am I eating salt and just water? So in the morning when you've like woken up from a, a fast, like you, the one thing that your body really needs is actually water. Um, so you need to rehydrate yourself. So getting in a pint of water and roughly like a teaspoon of um, pink salt, because pink salt is actually an electrolyte and it helps with hydration. Um, so again, getting some pink salt and some water in the morning is ideal and this is to hydrate myself now after a long sleep. Um, and to get me ready for the day. So you actually can get like products that will actually speed up uh, hydration um, so that you can get like electrolyte products and um, like supplements that will like actually do the same thing as the pink salt um, that we're like taking them in the morning. But um, that's, this, is, this is just like a cheaper version. Um, this pink salt does the same job. Just so again, I, I do this most mornings. Take a teaspoon of pink salt and then some water to get me hydrated in the morning. I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break you easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Oh, oh, oh. so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me. I'm currently on my walk, and also I've just figured out that less than 50% of you guys that are watching this channel are not subscribed. I mean, come on, subscribe to my channel, guys. So, guys, there's so much content coming this summer, so you do, you do not want to miss out. Just listen, the birds are chirping, everyone's so happy, the weather is nice. Um, it's starting to warm up, the sun's coming out, so there's no better excuse than to subscribe, guys, come on. Again, the birds are saying, listen, subscribe, 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 do you hear that? Come on, the birds are chirping, subscribe. So again, subscribe to the channel, like this video as well, and if you're enjoying it so far. Literally, all the support on the channel is really greatly appreciated, to be honest, because I'm trying so hard now, over these next few months, to really, like, boost my channel, and to bring as much content and entertainment to you guys, and um, fitness advice, vlogs, everything, so there's so much content coming over the summer, as I said, um, so you have to subscribe for it. Just to make sure you don't miss out on anything and also as well make sure to go back check out my photo shoot prep and um, I, I documented my full photo shoot journey so if you, if you haven't seen that definitely go back and give it a watch because it's just a very very um meaningful journey to me because it was just, it was a challenge i set myself and i just smashed the photo shoot honestly i was so proud of how everything went and to be able to document it on youtube and anyway getting back to the walk usually well i'm the station right now because i don't like to like walk and vlog walking and like vlogging it feels like i'm getting out of breath faster and like I, I i tend to like walk faster as well when i'm actually vlogging because i just like get carried away or like i'm just focused on the vlogging so like i just like, end up walking faster i don't know and then i'm like kind of like out of breath when i'm talking because sometimes when i'm doing like stories on my, on, my, on, on my instagram also as well if you're not following my instagram you gotta go over and follow me um, sometimes I like, get out of breath when I'm like walking because I like tend to walk faster like up the hills and stuff and I just feel like <laughs> while I'm recording. I come out for like half an hour every morning um, depending on the weather obviously if the weather is good. Um, summer now should, the weather should be good most mornings. It's nice to get out nice and nice and chilled. It's just nice to get out in the morning and again it's like wake up my dead face and body um, which I literally get out 30 minutes does the job feeling fresh and ready to go then for the day. Okay so we need to put one of these in the fridge. Which one should we pick? Not sure. But a goodie. But I got this one. 
put us back from my walk. Let's get the whole place set up. And yeah, back from my walk, feeling very good now, feeling refreshed, ready to go now when I have some breakfast. And also, as well, you see, I put my monster in the fridge to chill now for later on. And um, because I just have my stack of like monster like in my room, even though it's going low now, you only see there's like four or five left. And um, there isn't much to choose from because before I had like six, I'd say five or six different um, flavor options to choose from between rain and monsters. So I'm going to do some shopping again soon to stock up on my um, low calorie energy drinks. Um, but again, we have the Fiesta one in, free, in the fridge for later on, so it's going to be tasty. I'm going to crack that open now later on when we need the caffeine hit. Again, it's like seven o'clock right now, so I'm going to whip up some breakfast. So This guys are about to whip up breakfast, this is going to be absolutely insane. It's pretty much oats like porridge, but it's going to have something totally different now, so I'm excited to show you. Okay, so first we're going to get the oats, and we're about 100 grams in the bowl. So roughly about four of these. So next, we're going to get the pink salt, and this just adds flavor, and again, hydration, electrolytes, ideal. But roughly around three or four grains, is roughly around two teaspoons, roughly. And now we're going to get some baking powder, so roughly about half a teaspoon, even a little less. So I'm going to mix this. So this is just the baking powder, oats, and pink salt. So next we're going to put our kettle boiling, because we need some hot water. So I want to boil, create like a little bit of a well in the middle of the oats, just so we can get like, so everything gets soaked in. And then slowly pour the water in. You don't want too much water either, you just want it enough just to soak the oats. Yeah, so we'll just let that soak now for maybe two or three minutes. All right, so they've been soaked now for maybe a minute or two. You can see there's still some dry oats at the bottom, so give it a bit of a mix so we get all the oats. So now we're going to get a scoop of whey isolate protein from, I use from my protein, and I use chocolate caramel, which is my favourite flavour. I also use vanilla and salted caramel in this, and it's actually nice, very good, but my favourite, my favourite flavour is chocolate caramel, honestly. I'm going to mix that up now. Oh, this is heaven. I just, I'd throw this back the way it is. Just wait now to see what we do next. Okay, so next on the agenda. We got a baking sheet, we got a one calorie spray, we want to spray the whole sheet now. And now we add the mixture in. Spread it out evenly. The bigger you spread it, the bigger the cookie will be. Okay, so we're gonna pop this into the oven, just literally for like 12 or 13 minutes. So I have to pop in, it's roughly at 200 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna leave it in there from anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the cooker. So for me, it's roughly around 12 or 13 minutes, um, until it's perfectly cooked, but we're gonna keep an eye on it because it cooks really quickly and again the cow is really okay guys breakfast is served you see we have like a massive like cookie i actually got this idea off brandon harding's youtube channel so this is like the pro card cookie you could call it because i see how he made it and it looked absolutely insane and like i have oats every morning every day anyways um, so i was like you know what i'm going to try the pro card cookie and see how it is absolutely the only difference it is to mine is there's some baking powder and some pink salt in there as i said 100 grams of oats 35 grams of whey and then I have my pink salt and uh, baking powder. So it's literally like your normal oats, but again, it's made this way. And so on top now, what I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna have some of this Professor Nuts peanut butter, which is actually like low calorie. Look, it's zero fat, zero carb peanut butter, and there's actually some protein, pr there's actually some protein in there too. And there's 28 calories now per two tablespoons, and like, I'm only gonna use like one and a half tablespoons on this. And also as well, I'm gonna put on top a little bit of low calorie strawberry jam. And also a little tip now for this low calorie strawberry jam. So if you're like me and you like jam, um, and like I like very sweet jam and like the 65% fruit so this is like low sugar jam and it doesn't taste as good as the, the, the normal jam so what I do instead of getting the full calorie jam but this, this is only like half the calories of a usual um, jam so what I do I get the low cal the low sugar low calorie jam and I get then the sweetener and I put in so I take out I just I use like a tablespoon and then like I replace it with this so I have roughly about a tablespoon of this and I like mix it all together and like makes it a little bit more sweet so, again, combine, con, so combining the two of these to make almost regular jam. Again, it doesn't taste as good as the, the regular jam because obviously this isn't regular sugar. But it's a sweetener because I use this in my coffees. And I said I'd try it and it actually tastes insane. So yeah, that's a little tip now as well to cut down on the calories. So macros and calories for meal number one are going to be 546 calories, 35.8 grams of protein, 72 grams of carbs, and I have 10 grams of fat then. So this is an absolute treat now for breakfast. I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easy Because I hear you have no with toppings So I have roughly like 30 grams of jam and I, and I count this as well within the calories 
So again, 546 calories for this bad boy. Okay, it is pre-workout meal time, and what we are having is a regular pre-workout bagel. If you if you see me on prep, this is what I had every single day for like my pre-workout meal, and I was like, it's so nice. Why change it? So I was like, keep that the same. But today, actually, we have three turkey rashers instead of two. So there's two low-fat sausages, one egg, three turkey rashers because there was three left in the packet. Because I'd say there were seven in the packet, not six. Because I usually use the turkey rashers in twos. So I was like, instead of having one odd one, I was like, all right, just have the three today. And um, again, they're low on calories, they're like 30 calories each, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, one whole bagel, and then I have 250 grams of raspberries, which is going to be my main carb source for today. I'm um, so just going to be fueling this push workout that will be coming very soon. So the macros for this now in total um, is 593 calories, and then I have 40, no, 42 grams of protein, I have 80 grams of carbohydrates, and then there's 12 grams of fat then for this entire meal. So this is my regular pre-workout pre-workout meal right now and um, all these meals now are like a staple at the moment and um, moving forward um so again and i'll give you a full rundown of like full macros and calories at the end of the video as well and a full breakdown of like my full reverse dieting phase so everything that i'm everything that i'm doing um in order to like build as much muscle now as possible over these next few months but right now we're gonna enjoy these and i'll see you guys in the gym for a brutal push workout it's not gonna be brutal it's gonna be insane i'm um, so guys see you then okay so the sun hasn't come out just yet um just as well to be honest because we're going training so it won't be actually um that hot at the gym but the birds are still chirping which is nice but we're making a pre-workout drink right now so we're going to use today and again i have all my goodies here in the back of the car and um, i have my creatine monohydrate which i have with my pre-workout every day um and then i'm going to have today i'm going to have a stim free because i've had my coffee already so I've had enough caffeine for today, so I'll probably go to stim free. Let's go. This smells insane as well. It's like such a unique smell. And um, yeah, we're gonna go with a full scoop, baby. Ooh. Savage. Oh, I spilled a little bit of that. Silly me. And um, which yeah, I have my water and I have ice in there as well. Um so handy having the so handy with the fridge with the ice. So I just literally put my water in, hit some ice, so I'm having an absolutely Chill out, pre workout shake. And that's typical, the sun has now finally come outside the clouds and we're just heading into the gym. As you see, be fed in the background, nowhere else would we be on a sunny Sunday morning for an absolutely incredible push, se push session. So let's get into the gym and let's get a rolling, baby. Alright, so guys, exercise number one for this push day now is going to be an incline dumbbell chest fly. Um, usually we do like, usually, usually I do the cable flies, um, cuff cable flies. And the cables are broken today, so we're going to start off now with the incline dumbbell flies. I'm actually, actually liking this exercise a lot. So I've started adding it into the program over the last three or four weeks, and I'm actually finding great benefits now. So I've, already, I've done my two warm sets, this is my top set now, 25 kgs. And again, I got seven last week, or the week before, sorry. And um, so we're looking at 17 and trying to progress. Oh, this.
Right, so incline dumbbell flies done. Um, I actually progressed nicely on the incline flies. So I'm happy now, two sets in, and um, a good start to the workout. So we're moving on now to flat dumbbell press. So this is gonna be the first compound lift. So like the aim of doing the flies first, I've talked about this in previous videos as well, like the aim of doing flies at the start of your workout, um, because you fully lengthen and shorten your pec, your chest, um, and like you can't do that with a dumbbell press or anything like you know. So like as the workout goes on, your chest gets fatigued, and like it's, its ability to lengthen and shorten the muscle gets um, is um, lessened. So like doing a fly movement as, at the start, so putting your chest through its full range of motion at the start of the workout can be very beneficial um, in terms of muscle growth and breaking down the fibers. And then once again, once your nutrition and your recovery is on point, that's how you grow, boys. I'm coming for the throne. Seven and a half kgs, 40 kg guys. 40 kgs, I'm coming for you soon. So I'm gonna try and master these 37 and a half now for eight reps if I can, seven or eight reps. Um, and then over the next two or three weeks, possibly jump up to the 40s. So again, this, this is like the heaviest I've ever lifted before. Well, I've been doing 37s for the last week or two now. Um, which I'm excited now to jump onto the 40s soon. So again, I've got to master these, my, master these boys. So this is my top set now on dumbbell press. I've done my two warm ups, my work up sets. Um, so I got seven, seven reps last, or no, five reps last week. So again, if I can get five, six, or any more, it'll be a nice bonus now for this top set. No. You think that I'm insane? It's your mistake. Kingdoms rise and fall. I've come to take it all. So the two, the two exercises on our chest, we're going to some shoulders now. some machine shoulder press um, so that's, that's gonna be the compound movement for the shoulders so the same again same principles for chest and shoulders so we did a, a, um, a lengthening and shortening movement for the shoulders which was our side raises so we fully lengthened fully shortened and put the shoulders through its full range of motion um, so put the delts through its full, full range of motion now we're gonna move on to the compound lift which will be the shoulder press for my top set I'm gonna do 30 kg and 1.25 so I actually can't emphasize how important these plates are like 1.25 kg it looks like pussy weight um, because if you want to progress, like if you're really, if, if you have a proper training plan in place, and you're using plates like these in terms of progression to like help you progress every week, um, then you're going to make massive progress in terms of strength and building muscle. Um, because the aim of training is to put your muscles under as much stress as you can, um, and while training with perfect execution and form. And like adding on little weights like these every single day is going to, or not every single day, sorry, every single week, and um, just to push your sets, push your um, training that a little bit more to help you progress. And that's what's going to separate you from everybody else. And you gave me love, then I stole your crown. You let me in, then I pushed you out. Pushed you out, pushed you out. Come let me make up for all these pain. I've been a mess, tied by all these chains. Open my eyes, now I can't be seen. Our next chest exercise, which will be actually our last chest exercise of the day, is going to be inclined spin machine press now. So this is actually a very good one to work that upper chest. So if you want to build a nice upper chest, um, build a chest shelf like Larry Wheels and all them. You're going to be doing some incline um, chest press. You want to isolate and work the chest. The swim machine is a great exercise to use. Everything that you next to me I know that 
Dublin, the enemy. But I've had my moment of gravity, moment of gravity. Lost in the ceiling, caught up in the ceiling. I can't seem to let you go. Locked in this cage, I've been stuck here for days, and I can't seem to let you go. You pull me up and I put you down. You gave me love, then I stole your crown. You let me in, then I pushed you out. Pushed you out, pushed you out. Come let me make up for all these pain. I've been a mess, died by all these chains. Open my eyes, now I can't be seen. Turn the key. Yeah, can we be friends? Alright guys, so post workout, you've seen I had an absolutely juicy pump for my post for my workout. Um, also as well, um, so I'm gonna talk about like how my diet has been going over the last few weeks. So after my photo shoot, um, I was like I kind of like, took it easy for like a week or so. I wasn't really sticking too much of a plan. I was like eating snacks here and here and there, and getting little treats. Always, so I, I was like probably probably way above my calorie count for like my macros I was trying to stick to my macros but I was way I, I was going way above I was having slightly bigger portions here and there having a quick few snacks here and there you know I probably added up to maybe three four five maybe six hundred calories sometimes and I was getting the extra takeaway the odd day as well um, and some ice creams here and there as well I was just kind of enjoying myself for a few weeks but um, I felt it, it, it affected my weight so my weight went up really like my weight went up a lot because um, I was at the photo shoot I was 79.1 kg I'm like obviously that's not a that's not a sustainable weight of course um for someone like me um but again i went up then from i went up to 83.3 kg i think was the heaviest i was like i think someday last week i'm not exactly sure i have i have them all written down because i'm keeping track of my weights now especially these last two or three weeks and um, we've been keeping track close eye on how my weight has been moving up and down um because i finished working with gary as well my coach so it's looking after my own nutrition and training out from now on um, again, it's going to be a good experience for me as well because I've learned a lot about how my body has worked um, over these last, especially over the photo shoot prep, I've learned how foods have reacted with me. Um, even these last few weeks now, I've actually started to realise how, how certain foods have reacted with me um, because the last three or four days now, I've been stuck, I've stuck to a certain plan that I've made for myself just to bring the weight back down to the 81. So I was 81.3 kg this morning, as you've seen, so that's like a, that's an ideal weight for me. That brings me back down into a responsive position. I'm happy now I'm 81.3 kg, which is where I want to be right now. Um, and again, I'm going to slowly build on that. T today, I'm on 2,560. I'll, sh I'll take you through the macros at the end of the video, but I'm back up again, and uh, food is going good again. So that was my little journey. So again, I'm feeling good, feeling very lean as well today, as you've seen from the checking shots there at the gym after after the workout. Um, I wasn't feeling that lean at all with the last two weeks. Um, so it's nice again to feel that lean again, and uh, it's going to hopefully try and maintain that now for as long as I can, and just build on that now. So I'm going to keep a close eye on scale weight and body composition and how I'm feeling. So all these factors now I'm going to take into account, keep track of, and again, it's like a little bit of a challenge now for myself to try and really maximize this um, reverse dieting phase. Um, so again, I'm at five, 2,500 calories. I'll be upping that every single week now, um, in depending on how my body reacts every single week in terms of scale weight. Training performance as well, like if my training is taking a hit, if my fatigue is here, I'm gonna have to make changes to food and stuff, you know. So again, nice challenge for myself. And um, right now, this is what's right in front of me. So I have one, no, 75 grams of Cocoa Pops. And um, this is the ideal post-workout, um, it's the ideal post-workout meal, to be honest. Again, quick digesting, um, fill up those glycogen, glycogen stores after a tough weight session. Because uh, if you are an athlete and if you train a lot, like three, four, five, even six days a week, getting in a quick digester, quick digesting carb source after workout is ideal to replenish the muscles, to start the recovery process straight away. Um, so 75 grams of Cocoa Pops and I have a Rice, uh, rice Krispies Squares bar as well, chocolate. And then I have 30 grams of whey protein, which is in salt, chocolate caramel, as you know, of course. Um, with almond milk and some skimmed milk in there as well so that's going to be on top of the cocoa pops and a little bit on the side okay as well in that entire meal as well there's 601 calories so there's 35 grams of protein 97 grams of carbs and then there's 10 grams of fat in that entire meal so i'm going to mangle this down guys and i'll catch you guys for the next two meals and a quick breakdown of my macros at the end of the day so guys if you're enjoying the video so far make sure to smash like as you see now is this 200 grams of turkey mints uh, two handfuls of veg and i have 125 grams of cooked rice and the macros for this now, I have 57 grams of protein, um, 45 uh, grams of carbohydrates, and then there's four um, grams of fats, and 471 calories altogether in this meal. So it's gonna be meal number four for today. 
and also as well I'll show you meal number five as well which I'm going to have now later on as well so meal number five is going to be simply 200 grams of uh, beef mince or steak mince 5% fat or less um, so 200 grams of that and then there's going to be some mixed veg so two handfuls of mixed veg on the side and um, that's going to be meal number five then to finish off for the day so as in this meal there's 47 grams of protein 9 grams of carbs and there's 8 grams of uh, fat um, to finish off and 320 calories altogether. Okay, so I'll give you a quick rundown of the macros for the full day as well. So this is what I'm currently having now the last two days because I'm happy enough with where the weight is at right now. So I've upped the calories now, so I'm 2,530 calories in total for a full training day. And in protein I have 218 grams in total, um, 304 grams of carbohydrates and then there's um, 46 grams of fat then for a full day um, so that's what I'm currently putting in my body now to fuel it to build as much muscle now as I can I don't usually structure my meals like this so like usually um, I like to train in the morning but today I train now uh, like around 12 o'clock so I had like two meals in me so I had my oats in the morning my oat cookie usually I have the oat cookie like in the middle of the day so I'll usually like have my pre-workout bagel raspberries in the morning do my, do, do my workout then at roughly around like 8 or 9 o'clock because um, I'm finding that time very enjoyable at the moment and then I have my post worker Cocoa Pops after the workout and then either I'll have like the oats after or else I'll have like the turkey mince or the steak I like to mix up meals through the day just to add a bit of variety change things up but um, overall that meal plan is going very well for me right now um, I'm finding it's actually reacting with my body very well my body's adapting great and as I'm seeing huge changes already within the last like week of like staying on track with that and uh, I'm going to try and now master this next few months now and just really try and add as much lean tissue as I can um, while staying as lean as possible so guys I hope you enjoyed the video and um, hopefully it's nice and informative and you enjoyed the workout and everything um, so if you did make sure to like subscribe to the channel if you're new and um, there's plenty of co content coming for the summer so make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff um, so again thanks for watching see you in the next one Just watch me.